Hey guys, this is Studentess Nena and welcome to my channel. Oh my word guys, I am so excited that you are here. You are watching my first ever YouTube video. And um, I am so excited to be sharing my journey with you. Um, becoming a professional nurse and um, yeah I just thought you know what let's just start off this channel um, explaining to you how I got into nursing um, it's not gonna be long it's just explaining to you like my journey into nursing school and I hope that you guys are going to love it so yeah and I just want to say the famous words that YouTubers say all the time. So before we dive into the content of the day, um, why don't you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell to receive notifications of the new videos that I will be releasing in future. <laughs> just so excited to say that. But yeah, let's just dive into it. <laughs> okay, so matric. Um, I matriculated in 2021, um, yay, it was horrible, <laughs> um, I say horrible because we had to work like dogs, like it was hectic because we just came out of, kind of came out of COVID and we're like getting into schools, face to face, getting that back and it was difficult, it was difficult trying to balance like leadership um, as well as um, schoolwork and I was like stressing I was stressing throughout the whole year um, especially because I took like crazy subjects I took accounting I took life science um, I took physics and I took pure maths um, and the reasons as to why I chose that those subjects is because I since I was born I've always not since I was born <laughs> since I was like young maybe since I was born maybe I just came out with a stethoscope or something but um, since I was young I've always dreamt of becoming a doctor and um, I just I genuinely wanted to just you know see how the body works and how um, the functions of each organ and the functions and of the systems it was amazing to me um, especially Doc McStuffins like I think she helped a bit <laughs> um, but I genuinely wanted to be a doctor and so that's why I chose those those subjects because I thought it would increase my chances I mean physics was a requirement but um, and pure maths but I thought you know life science as well um, and um, I don't know why I chose accounting because I really didn't want to choose consumers or geography so I just stuck with accounting and um, I used to think it was a mistake but uh, I kind of enjoyed it throughout high school. Even though it was difficult, but I, I kind of enjoyed it. I applied to a whole lot of um, universities, um, but I really wanted to stay in Cape Town. I don't want to travel anywhere, but I applied in case. So I applied to UCT, Stellenbosch, UJ, um, Witzwatersrand, um, UWC, and um, I didn't apply to UP because my mom said no, but okay. Um, but I applied everywhere else and um, I got rejections from UCT because I'm not, I wasn't the strongest pupil. I wasn't, I was average guys. I was like, I am a type A type of person, but the marks were not reflecting, even though I put so much effort and hard work in everything. I still did not get the best marks or get like highest in the grade or whatnot. So yeah, that was kind of like a that was sad for me basically. I didn't I didn't like that about myself. I was always comparing myself to other people. I was like, Nina, you wanna be a doctor but you're not even getting the marks. What's wrong with you? I would say such things to myself and um but yeah those are not good things to say <laughs> um so throughout high school been doing all those subjects matric came it was it was difficult prelims was difficult i put in so much effort in prelims and um, i did get good marks in prelims but then i think i was so burnt out i was so burnt out from prelims that it was so difficult for me to study for finals 
and um at times i would just be like you know let's sleep for at least 30 minutes 30 minutes would turn into like two hours because i was extremely extremely tired i got my matrix certificate and on the day that i got my matrix certificate i got rejections from use um, U- um different universities so uct is one of them Stellenbosch is one of them and then um i got my acceptance letter from uwc which was very exciting because um i got accepted to a university like to be the first daughter in your family to get into a university was very exciting for me and um at that moment it didn't matter what course i was in i was just like i got into a university i'm excited called up my dad because he was in nigeria at the time he was excited he was happy my mom was happy everyone was happy but internally i wasn't because i didn't get into the course that i wanted to get into um <clears throat> so yeah i started with um orientation um it was frustrating because i didn't enjoy it i was angry at myself i was angry with the situation that i was in because i genuinely wanted to do medicine and i never my intentions for my future if that's the right way of saying it was never to do nursing i always wanted to be a doctor um so to be in this situation i was like you know what are you doing here are you too good to be here like what's going on you know i would say those things but guys i don't i'm not like that anymore i'm not like that that was the past i'm not bratty like i was before um so yeah i went through orientation went to the lectures one lecture face to face most of our lectures in first term was online which i hated because i do not enjoy online online is just horrible like there's no lecturer student interaction there's no that type of environment where you feel like you are actually working there were so many distractions at home like i was at home i would be watching the lecture but i would also want to eat and make these things and watch some tv and all that stuff so there were so many so many distractions around and it just didn't fit with me but eventually luckily we in second term we were face to face phasing it in and i genuinely like something shifted in me like it was like a kick you know like you, you get a kick out of something my heart was so overjoyed i was excited for the first time in that moment i was excited to do what i was doing cuz i think in that time we started going to like you know the hospitals and it was amazing guys if i tell you the joy that was in my heart when i saw like different hospital equipments and it felt like a gray's anatomy moment for me like you guys i'm obsessed with gray's anatomy like my favorite character for me is christina yang and she is a bad boss like like as in slay she's a amazing queen you know <laughs> not bad boss as in sorry guys i'm still getting into the slang of the today's world um i don't keep up much but she's amazing and um it felt like a surreal moment for me i was there talking to actual patients like i didn't one thing i've learned is to not treat patients like they are they are, they are a disease or treat patients as their disease like getting to know their names getting to know who they are reading their folders talking to them interviewing them when they are being admitted it was such an i was just shocked i was excited amazed and shocked i saw things i saw abscesses i saw um what you call it i saw stomas and all that it was just ha huh, like i thought i seen these things on tv but to see them on real life face to face was a whole different thing and i genuinely genuinely enjoyed it it was amazing and i think i just when i was there i found the reason as to why i wanted to enter the medical field one because i genuinely enjoyed how the body works i love how anatomy is just there it's just how god just created everything and 
to learn the different systems, to learn each body part, each each nerve, each it's mind-boggling, it's amazing how everything just works in in such a way that it just it works together like this. It's amazing. And um I got a kick out of that. And the second thing was helping people. And that was just I just found the reason as to why I'm doing this again. I found the joy again. I found reason again. And um, it was amazing. It was an amazing experience. And it is still an amazing experience because your girl is currently a second year student. Thank you. I did pass, guys. I did pass. Um, and I enjoyed every single moment of first year. Every single moment. The studying was crazy and hectic. Um, going to the hospital every Friday to work 12 hour shifts was hectic but the joy in learning new things from the nurses from the doctors rounds it was amazing and uh, and I can my perspective of nursing has changed like completely like a total 180 or 360 whatever it is <laughs> 180 it has changed completely and um, I think nurses are amazing we are amazing why i say that we are amazing or nurses are amazing is because they spend much more time with the patient they know the patient better than the doctors do and i spoke to one of the doctors and i told them about like what's been happening with my situation and they said you know what it's good that you are a nurse you know it's good that you are starting off here because it will teach you how to be compassionate for your patient. It will teach you how to be more patient with your patient. <laughs> no pun intended. I'm um, intended. But it will teach you all the values that you need as a nurse. And if you ever want to, you know, further your studies to become a doctor, at least you have those principles and you will not let that go. And you'll, instead of just being a mundane or normal doctor, you'll be a great doctor. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to enjoy this. Even though it's going to take a longer process, a longer time period. I don't know if I still want to study medicine. I don't know if I'm going to just leave it to nursing. But it's all in God's hands. And I am just genuinely, genuinely excited for what this year 2023 is going to bring um last year 2022 was a bit of sadness anger pain loss craziness but i found joy i found joy in what i was doing in the hospital in studying in learning about our bodies and um yeah it was amazing it was amazing and I hope that 2023 is even more amazing. And I can't wait to study pharmacology, like medicine. I've always wanted to give the people medicine, you know. But in first year, we're not like qualified or ready yet to give medicine. But this year, we are learning about like the different pills and all that stuff, which is crazy and um, and exciting. But I, I've heard of it. It's a difficult like course or module. Um, but I can't wait to tackle it. I can't wait to tackle this obstacle Um that we're gonna face and um and i can only thank god for putting me in this situation meeting people um it's amazing it's amazing so yes so the reason as to why i started this channel is because throughout first year i just every day i would take out my phone and just videoize everything that i was doing and i genuinely enjoyed that i enjoy like showing everyone like hey we're doing this today seeing brains today we're we're seeing muscles today we're doing this today it was an it's amazing um taking videos and kind of making them into mini tiktoks and mini um short videos of like a week of my life and all that stuff it's amazing i enjoy doing all those things and um i wouldn't call myself like a content creator because i'm not like there yet but i just enjoy sharing um and i believe that we need more nurses or student nurses to like spread um about our our like course because people think it's 
just nursing. It's not just nursing. There is a lot of hard work, effort, pain, sacrifice that um, we all put into to try and pass this course. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because there will be more like study tips. There will be a lot of those type of things like a week in my life, a day in my life as a studentess. Um, and it will be fun. It will be amazing. Thank <laughs> you.